I'm awake is make sure to tidy up my bed and I have quite a lot of pillows and I have a new bed, new comforter, you guys can see it's all different and I just feel more productive this way, I feel like I can check something off my list during the day and I'll make sure to film a room tour for you guys, I have remodeled our room and I can't wait to share it with you guys and then as soon as I'm done making my bed I head straight over to the kitchen and make myself some breakfast and also feed the puppies and I just like to eat anything that has like fruit in it for example like cereal oatmeal or yogurt and this is delicious it is called fruit and yogurt cereal from Kellogg special K and then I just made sure to wash some raspberries which is the fruit that I had this morning and I just put a little bit of skin milk on top of that then I take it straight to my workspace and as you guys can tell it's now our room and I just answer back emails and comment back on your comments and all that fun stuff and then afterwards I like to go ahead and get started with my planning. So this is where I write down what I'm going to do that day, if I'm going to film, if I'm going to edit, if I have an appointment. I also keep a record of when I'm working out, what days, how long, so it keeps me motivated to keep going. And I notice this made a huge difference in my lifestyle and I notice that it really does inspire me to work out every single day or as much as I possibly can. And then I just write down like major things that I'm doing that day. For example, this weekend we went to downtown and it was so much fun. Now let's head on over to the bathroom. I'm just going to brush my teeth and put in my contacts. And I have really sensitive teeth, that's why I have to use a sensitive toothpaste. And also I've switched my toothbrush to something that's more effective. You guys can tell the bristles are very different. They're made out of silicone and this is called the Issa by Foreo toothbrush. It's super cool, you guys can find it at Sephora, at Foreo.com. And it's really cool because it actually pulsates instead of giving you like an abrasive rotation onto your teeth which I think is more effective and definitely soothes my gums because my dentist told me that I have to brush my gums since they bleed so much so this is so much easier if you guys don't like brushing your gums highly 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 recommend this because that's actually where most of the bacteria builds up and you want to get rid of it now unlike other normal electric toothbrushes, the head needs to be replaced around every three months and this is a great investment because this one only needs to be replaced once a year and if you guys have noticed, there's no charging dock. So the battery life will last up to 365 uses. That is awesome. I also love how stylish it looks and I wish I would have gotten the mint one instead or even the lavender one but I got the cobalt blue, I just thought it was really pretty. Thank you Pharrell for hooking me up with this toothbrush. I absolutely love it and it has made a huge difference in the way that I brush my teeth. And I love this soap in my bathroom, just saying it's from Bath and Body Works and it smells amazing. And then I just wash my hands and put on my contacts and now let's get ready for my morning workout. So I try to do this, I want to say every other day and I just like to do it in the back of my yard. It is so much fun. I love to listen to music and you guys should definitely follow me on Spotify. I have a workout playlist and then one of my favorites is called Rav's Jams and here's a sneak peek of what you will listen to. Shine that ball, so me give it to Down, yeah, my hands up, yeah, my hands up, my hands up Flex it, flex it while my hands up Carry on Kitty on feet, pretty on feet cardio in I like to go running and then afterwards I like to make myself smoothies if you guys follow me on my vlogging channel you guys know how much I love smoothies for this one I'm going to add a banana ice cubes I'm also going to cut an apple in half and just use some of it because I don't want there to be too much apple and then I also like to put greens like kale or spinach and believe me you cannot even taste it and then some kind of pressed juice if you don't want to make your own you could just purchase one from the store, make sure it's organic and it's going to taste so delicious. I promise you cannot taste the vegetables in there. It just tastes so amazing. After a productive morning, I'm gonna hit the shower and then get ready by doing my hair and makeup. I just put my wet hair up in a bun for right now. Since I'm going to start with my makeup, I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes. And I've really been liking this eyeshadow primer. 
it's just really pricey. Um, and then I'm gonna use my favorite palette at the moment. This is called the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar by Too Faced. And this is my favorite shade. It's called Peanut Butter. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. And then I'm going to grab this really pretty, like, goldish color on the bottom. And then in the crease of my eye, I'm just going to make it look more defined by using Put-In, which pudding pudding did you guys see my puppies are so cute when I saw this clip and I was editing it I got really excited because they just look so adorable walking next to each other okay so now let's move on to the eyeliner this one is from L'Oreal and then to hide those dark circles underneath my eyes and really brighten up my face I'm going to use the NARS concealer and a dupe for this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer highly recommend it it works really good and then I don't want the brightness to go away so I'm just going to use a translucent powder underneath my eyes and a different powder for the rest of my face and this is my favorite brush right now also. It is from Made Cosmetics and I'm going to put the Fit Me powder foundation all over my face um, except for underneath my eyes so it stays nice and light. It's time to give our eyebrows a little love. So this has been my favorite one because I love the shade. It matches my hair perfectly and I'm just going to dab that all over my eyebrows and then I'm going to reach for a bronzer. This one is from Maybelline and then I'm going to put a little blush on the apples of my cheek. And today I felt a little sassy so I went for a red bold lip which you guys know I love bold lips. This is the Muchos Besos Lipsticks which are by me and you guys can find them on realstyle.com. Let's move on to our hair. You guys know I've been loving braids. So this is a really simple hairstyle. I'm just put in some hair extensions and then I'm going to part it on the side. This is super easy. Anyone can do this and I'm going to start off by putting two Dutch French braids on my hair and the way that you do this it's just like a normal braid or a normal French braid but except of going over you go underneath. I don't know if you guys can tell but in my opinion I think the Dutch braid looks a lot prettier than a regular braid because I feel like there's more detail to it. And then once you are done you're going to pull on your hair and this makes the braid look bigger and fuller and thick and you want to do this before you secure it with an elastic band so you don't break your hair. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you grab three different sections and instead of going over like a simple braid, you're going to go under and it's going to be a French braid at the top right above your ear and then at the bottom it's just going to be a regular Dutch braid. And then make sure that you do the exact same thing as you did on the other side where you pull on the sides and this just looks so pretty. I love how it looks. I think it like brings more detail to the braid and the hairstyle. Now we're going to put all of our hair back and we are going to scrunch it up before adding the elastic band. I'm going to scrunch it up into a bun and as you guys notice I'm kind of twisting it so that it stays put together and this is kind of hard to explain but I'm going to put an elastic band around it but I don't want the band to show so I'm kind of pulling hair out from the center and then I'm going to wrap both of the braids around the bun before I secure it down with bobby pins. That way you can tell where like your braid ends and it just looks like an intricate design and it looks very detailed. I get so many compliments on this hairstyle and as you guys can tell it's so fast. You can be done with this hairstyle in less than 10 minutes and it looks like you took a long time to do it. Definitely recommend this hairstyle for those lazy days. And we're done with our hair. For my outfit today, I wanted to wear something that was very comfortable and super cute at the same time. So of course, I reached for my Gladiator sandals. My top is from Charlotte Russe and my strappy bralette is from ASOS, which is a bra you don't care to show. And then my shorts are from H&M, my Gladiator sandals are from ShoeDazzle.com. And I'm using my mini Speedy bag from my Market Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah. Hi loves, it's Belinda, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for being so MIA lately, but if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys know that I just went through the most traumatizing thing ever. I 